Hello guys, so I recently saw a video about how to make every single island that you encounter on the Nook Miles to get a tarantula island. So what you have to do is clear all the trees and flowers and dump everything in a corner and it basically removes the spawn points for every other insect except the tarantula. And oh shit! Oh rip. I was focusing on one, but another one got me on the side, but it's okay because you just respawn next to the airplane. And Wilbur shows some concern, but anyway, I have already caught three of them, so hopefully I can get a whole inventory of them. Fortunately, I th oh, there's one up there. Let's try to grab it. But yeah, it seems to work really well. Oh, why did it? Did you see that it fell off the cliff? It seems to work really, really well to spawn them, and you know they're worth like eighteen thousand. And I actually have a friend that has a flick in his town, so I might try to sell a whole inventory full of them. And flick purchases insects at double their normal price. Got it. And I think there's one behind the cliff as well. But yeah, you're gonna want to make sure you have like a good net before you try to start this strategy. And also the um, the axe, and not the stone axe or flimsy axe, but the one that actually chops the trees down. Yay! Nice. A weird angle. Yes, now I have five tarantulas, so let's keep this going. And um. The video I saw said to also scare away any wharf roaches that might spawn just to maximize the chance of getting the tarantulas. But yeah, I thought it was a super useful idea. It's a good way to make a lot of bells. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how many times they're gonna faint on this video, quite a few. Okay, there's another one up there. It's gonna come down? Oh, the despawn. And um, as you can see, it's actually raining in my island, and I was afraid it wouldn't work because I wasn't sure if Tarantula spawned during the rain, but no worries, it works just fine. It always kind of scares me. <laughs> oh, there's one. Oh, there's two. Okay, this is going to be tricky because... Hopefully one walks further, okay. Alright, you only want to aggro one of them to make it easy. 
See if we can get his friend. He's like just trapped in the wall or something. And I guess the easiest way to catch a tarantula is to just hold A while you're holding the net, which makes you approach slowly. And when the tarantula raises its front legs to just pause while it's doing that. Because I think if you keep walking forward, it'll um, run towards you and try to sting you. So this is definitely probably going to be the number one way to earn bells because I mean, so in New Leaf, I remember the way to earn bells was to go to Captain's Island because it was always summertime and you could catch sharks and the um, really expensive beetles all the time. So it was actually really easy to make bells in New Leaf and this is probably the, um, the substitute in this game. But the thing is, like, during different parts of the year, when the tarantula is not available, this trick probably doesn't work as well. I'm not sure when scorpions are in season, but hopefully it applies as well for the scorpions. So still plenty, plenty of space for more tarantula buddies. Just the ground level to make it even easier. Ah. That was unfair. There was no way I could see him. Oh shoot! Don't! No! No! Keep sneaking up on me like this. Oh, 
Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> ah! Oh, I got it! Hype! I got it as it was charging at me. <laughs> nice. So my whole inventory is full of tarantulas, except for the Nook Miles to Gags and Bro Long, and I'm taking back the axe as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.